this is Tia and today I wanted to show you me curling my hair and introduce you to a new curling iron that was sent to me to try out for review and let you know if I like it. So this will be my first time using the curling iron and of course I wanted to do it before I went back curly. Also, I know that I've gotten a lot of questions about how I upkeep my hair overnight. Well, this is it. You may have seen my last video where I was showing you, or my previous video, I think it was the video before last, how to wrap straight hair. And that basically is how I've been upkeeping my hair. I add a little bit of oil to the ends. I only add oils if I feel that my ends are dry or in need, so I don't add it every single day. Also, sometimes I actually do um, I actually do a lot of vlogging and look different day-to-day -day life stuff that I don't get to film here on my YouTube channel. So go over to Snapchat and follow me at TOTS5678. That's T-O-T-S 5678. Um, also, please follow me on Instagram at TOTS underscore 5678. So that's T-O-T-S underscore 5678. Anywho, I don't want to make this video too long, so I love you all. Thank you so much again for subscribing and watching my videos. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one, and I hope that you will enjoy this video. Bye! As you saw before, I decided to go with ringlet curls, so today I'll be using the Lee Angelique Hair Tools Professional Curling Iron. It is one and a half inches in diameter. To get started, I'm gonna take my hair down from the wrap and I wanted to show you how I do that. I use the rat tail end of my rat tail comb to kind of stroke the hair down out of the wrap. That way I avoid breakage. And just as we always do, starting at the ends and working my way up to the root just to knock out any tangles that came from me taking my hair down from the wrap. So of course I'm going to kind of just stroke through all of my hair, make sure that it's um, thoroughly detangled, create my part, and get ready to prep for the style. So here is a closer look of the display. It is a digital display and you can set your temperature all the way up to 410 and again it is by Lee Angelique Hair Tools. I'm starting out with my temperature set at 360. Again, you can control the temperature setting by pressing the power button until you reach your desired temperature with the light that displays underneath the temperature. I always recommend using a heat protectant anytime that you are going to apply heat to your hair. For me, I'm using step one of the thermal defense line from the main choice. So I wanted to kind of test it out on this first piece and I will explain my process, but you'll see See that I actually didn't leave it in long because I didn't want to overheat my hair if you will um, so you'll see that the curl wasn't extremely tight on the first curl but that's okay and I did not have hairspray what was I thinking I don't know but anyway since I didn't have hairspray I decided to do a pin curl to hold it in place and add extra hold so now let's get started I'm starting with the clip portion away from my curl meaning facing away from me and then I'm going to roll backwards as I'm rolling backwards I you will see me opening the clip because I want to smooth it down and allow the length of my curl to get inside the curling iron and then I'm just slowly kind of guiding the ends in all the way until it's there and then I allow it to heat up and then create the curl then again because I don't have hairspray I am pinning my curls in place for extra hold power. So again, leaving the barrel facing away from me, I'm rolling backwards, creating the curls away from my face. Then I'm slowly sliding the curling iron down as I am going by opening the clip just a little bit at a time and getting the length of my hair in and voila. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the clip here and allow you to kind of watch how I am curling my hair. You may see a little bit of smoke every now and then, but that is just the heat reacting to the heat protectant that I applied to my hair. So my hair is not burning, so no worries. To help monitor the temperature of my hair, I keep tapping it with my fingers and once I feel that it's hot enough, then I take it away. This is a great way to monitor and make sure that you're not leaving your curling iron in too long. And of course, it's a great way to not burn your hair. 
As you can see, using this professional ceramic curling iron from Lee Angelique Hair Tools was great because I did not have to leave my curling iron in long at all and look at the results of my curls. They are turning out gorgeous. I really love the one and a half inch diameter curling iron because it gives me nice full ringlets without my curls being too tight and they're easy to create body waves out of. Love. So remember I mentioned that I did not have hairspray so I decided to pin my curls in place to add extra hold and let them cool all the way down that way and I had to run and pick up my son from school so um, 45 minutes was great and you can see my curls came out fabulous. Now I'm using my fingers just to kind of comb through and loosen up some of the curls, create a wave and style my hair. Of course, ringlet curls are not your only option using a curling iron. This is just what I wanted to go for because it allowed me a little more versatility with my hair. As you can see, my curls have turned out great. They are super shiny because of the smooth finish that is on the curling iron and it does use negative ions which help to smooth and relax my hair. Love, love, love. Tell me what you think. This is the final product. I actually think using no hairspray worked in my favor because my curls are super bouncy, super shiny, and they still held up really, really well. Go and check out LeeAngelique.com for yourself. They sell way more than just curling irons. It is all hair tools. Get 20% off using my code TIA20. I'll be sure to leave the link to LeeAngelique.com in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.